Hello and welcome back to Design Foundations. In the previous lesson, you learned about visual communication and how to use photos, illustrations, and textures to convey messages in a balanced way. So in this lesson, we will continue with visual communication and look at how to use data visualization in design to tell data stories and convey information visually through charts, graphs, and infographic compositions. So first of all, what exactly is data visualization? Data visualization is the practice of representing data in a visual format. It transforms raw data into meaningful visuals, making complex information more accessible and understandable. Whether you're presenting sales figures, marketing trends, or survey results, data visualization helps you communicate your message pretty effectively. So here are some examples of data visualization. I'm gonna bring this a little closer because we're gonna be pretty hands-on today. So this analytics report, the bar graph takes up a whole page and also matches in color and style with the rest of the pages. Today, you'll learn how to achieve that with VisMe. So now look at this infographic with a collection of data visualizations that tell a data story about human resource statistics. As you can see, all the charts, graphs, and infographic icons have the same color theme and style. They're separated into sections to provide hierarchy and flow to the design. And finally, we have this example. It's an interactive visualization that shares information about different dog breeds. You can click on each breed circle at the top and the content changes accordingly. And yes, you can create this type of visualization with Visme as well. So let's go back to the financial report and recreate the bar graph that we saw earlier. So to add a graph or chart to a VisMe project, click on the data tab and open the charts and graphs menu and search for the bar graph. Or you can click on the forward slash keyboard shortcut and scroll to charts and graphs. So to add data to your bar chart, input it manually here or import or connect from a live Google Sheet or Excel online document. So once the data is in, we can start to customize. Let's resize the chart itself and place it inside the shape. And now we have to go into settings to customize everything else. First, let's add the colors. Copy the color hex code from one of your document colors and add it to the color cell in the chart settings. So next, let's make the chart look how we want it to look. We'll remove the grid in the appearances tab and then in the legend tab, we'll position ourselves to the top and align it to the right. And we'll change the font to one used in our project and we'll resize it. In the values tab, we'll toggle to show values and change the font as well as we adjust the size and switch the value position to the top. Now the chart is in balance with the rest of the design, creating a data story that complements the rest of the content. Now let's look at the infographic and talk about data widgets and other infographic style data visualizations that you can use in your designs. These first two charts are a half pie and a pie graph. Notice how they use the same colors and fonts. The legend has been designed separately to make it bigger. This bar graph at the bottom has been customized to look as minimal as possible and this legend is also a separate design. Above the bar graph is a section with icons and legends depicting recruitment steps and timeframes. The thing about data visualization is that it's not always just charts and graphs. You can use other types of visuals to create data stories. Now let's look at one more infographic that uses data widgets for the visualization. Here at the top are two percentage gauges aligned to each other inside a long rectangle that frames all the data visualizations. Percentage gauges can also be customized in terms of color and fonts, just like the charts and graphs, so it's easy to make them match half donuts and half pie charts. So notice how the 3D illustrations also use the same color palette. Great visual balance going on here. When creating and putting together data visualizations, either on their own or as part of a larger design, remember the design principles we've talked about. The visualization must be in balance with all the other content and should flow seamlessly with it, just like in the examples we looked at in this lesson. By the way, they are all FISME templates, so you might want to check those out. If you want to learn more about data visualization in design, you can read our blog. You'll find links to some articles of interest in the lesson materials down below. 